when can you stretch ahead and when can you not stretch ahead? Um, I'll tell you right now so you don't have to, you know, sit through the, the long video so, you know, I won't keep you in suspense and stuff. Um, it's not good to stretch a hat. You've got to do it for very, very small stretches. If you're talking a whole size, um, nah, there, there'll be so many side effects from it that it'll make your hat look so, you know, damaged from the stretch. It's almost like, yeah, I have to put the whole hat back together again. You know, it's just totally, you know, stretch marks and crooked brim and, uh, it's always the chance the leather and band inside will, will crack and split. So if it's the kind of thing like, you know, it's a hat you just can't wear at all and it's got sentimental value, you just want to be able to wear it at least and you don't care if it's a little screwed up, then you could do it. But uh, a size is pretty radical. I'm going to say better off um, just cut out the sweatband. You know, you'll get a whole size or even a little more. Just right in here you find the stitches. Just pull it apart. Cut it with a razor and just go around. Take the sweat band out, leather band out. If you're concerned, you could always put a disposable band like one of these black ones I have here. Just put that in the front against your forehead so you don't have touching bare felt. Um, and you could cut those in half to make them nice and small so they're not too long and you know they won't size your hat down much. But um, yeah, just pull it out. I do it all the time. And uh, that way the inside of the hat might look a little raw, but the outside still looks perfect. Um, stretching is bad. Uh, you know Daisy, she's been paying attention. Don't stretch. Um, how much can you stretch? You can stretch a little bit. You can stretch to make a hat like a little bit more long oval or something. Um, you break up the thermon. you do is you pull out the leather band. There's even a trick where I could show you one of my hats where I cut out the whole leather band but I just left the front bit by my forehead. So I've got still got leather against my head and I could wipe it down and keep it dry and stuff, you know, and it's comfortable to clean it with a cloth and stuff. It still works as a sweatband, but the other three quarters of the band is gone and that way um, the hat fits me. I definitely do have some hats like that. Sometimes I'll take it out completely, other times I'll leave the sweatband. Depends on how much I need, how much room. Yeah, there's just a little bit in the front there. There's no sweatband in the back. There is a sweatband in the front. There we go. Actually, this one's in the back. Sure, I did that. Is good. 
So what do you do? You got to buy your hats on the bigger side. Um, make sure it's a little bit bigger on, you know, at least round to the bigger size. That's That would be buying it normal. Um, what I like to do is I round it to the bigger size. If I'm between 58 and 59, I'm a 59, and I go up a size. Now, in my case, I like to go oversize. I sometimes go up two sizes. I feel it's cool because, I mean, I got a lot of hair. I'm always patting down my hat a lot. Um, and I like an oversized look, which is also part of it, too. So that's, you know, not a big deal. So, you know, if you like the oversized look, that works out for you. Now, um, oversized is going to give you kind of like a, a hip hop -y, casual kind of a thing, you know, laid back. If you're going for a dressier, more sort of a, uh, you know, the guy in the suit trying to be a little bit more presentable, what's the word, tailored, tailored, fashionable, not as casual and sort of, you know, this is almost like a baggy jeans kind of hanging out. On, you know, if you're not going for that look, don't go too oversized. Just round it off to the bigger size. Um, you'll be okay.